Keep us posted on what happens there now. Uh, meanwhile, the three people charged in the deadly fentanyl poisoning that killed a one-year-old boy at a daycare not far from this latest bust appeared in court today. The owner of the daycare, her husband, and one of their relatives, all of them arraigned today on charges of murder. The children were exposed to fentanyl and what prosecutors say was a front for distributing illegal drugs. Today, relatives of the young victims were in court seeking justice. Here's Amity News reporter Marcus Solis. The emotions are still raw, but the wheels of justice are in motion, taking the form today of a steady march down a long corridor leading to a courtroom. Gray Mendez, her husband Felix Herrera Garcia, and his cousin Carlisto Brito were arraigned today on murder charges. The three are connected to the Vino Nino daycare. At least that's where grieving parents thought they were taking their children to on Morris Avenue. This was not really a daycare center. This was a drugs operation, and they used babies as a shield. Three weeks ago, one-year-old Nicholas Dominici died of fentanyl exposure. Three other young children were hospitalized. Investigators say the basement operation was a full-on drug mill and today released additional photos of the room with a gray padded mat where children would play and nap, under which police discovered six kilos of fentanyl, heroin, and drug packaging materials hidden by a trap door. The overdose reversal drug Narcan was found in a bathroom. Taking the life of the kids on risk Use for make money on this way. Mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine that. Otoniel Feliz says he felt reassured because the facility had passed safety inspections and says Mendez would text pictures of the children throughout the day. She keep us updated on everything happened every single day on the daycare. We never imagined this gonna happen. The DA, who calls the case a catastrophe, is now promising to investigate the licensing of home-based daycare facilities. Are there any gaps? Are there things that they're missing? Things that should be part of these inspections that haven't been before? It's unfortunate that a death has to happen before we look into more things. The three defendants are also facing federal drug conspiracy charges, but pleaded not guilty today to state murder, assault, and child endangerment charges, what the DA calls the human side of the case. In the Bronx, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, I would.